to bring the, the vibe down any, but I just like found a new thing I hate. Uh, it's when people use the term gaslighting wrong, because you can't correct them. Like, nothing sounds more like gaslighting than someone being like, I think you said that wrong. I think that's wrong, you know? Uh, Y'all drinking? Anyone? Yeah. Hell yeah. I think I might, I've been thinking of like quitting drinking, actually. What? Yeah, thank you. One person, this guy's just like egging me on. Uh, I, I've been thinking about it just because I'm like in my 30s now. I have a lot of friends who've gotten sober. And every time they tell me like why they quit drinking, it's always some shit that I've done. <laughs> like, when someone tells you what their bottom is, you shouldn't say like, just once. <laughs> like, it's a bad look. It's a bad look. I, uh, I think I have a litmus test for it though. I think if you're like thinking of quitting drinking, just like tell someone who's like pretty close to you, maybe like a friend, maybe not like your significant other or whatever, but just be like, hey, I, I think I might quit drinking. And if their response is like, oh my God, are you okay? You're fine. <laughs> like they weren't worried about you at all. But if you're like, hey, I think I might quit drinking and they're just like, yeah. <laughs> you, absolutely. <laughs> like that's, that means people have had conversations about you without you. Like, that is what that means. That's like, oh shit, ugh. I, uh, I'm like, uh, I'm a big Irish guy, so like if I quit drinking, I'd have to find a new way to like celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I, uh, I think I have the fix though. I think I would just take the day and listen to like the Smiths or something. Cause like the only thing that's more Irish than drinking is like celebrating when English people are sad. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's not the... Yeah, I, uh, I just moved back to Philly after, uh, yeah, thank you. I, I love Philly, I'm from here. Uh, and like one of the things I missed while I was away, I moved away like two months before Gritty became a thing. And like people like shit on like Philly sports stuff all the time, but across the board, everyone loves Gritty. Like somehow he's just like past the thing. And uh, like if, Somehow you don't know who Gritty is. How I've explained him to people is he's like a Muppet who grew up and got into perks. That's like his vibe. That's what Gritty is all about. Uh, but uh, my, my favorite thing to happen with Gritty happened right before the pandemic. I don't know if y'all remember this, but uh, does anyone here remember when Gritty hit a kid? <laughs> there you go. I like, like, I still have a ton of friends online, like from Philly and stuff, and the general consensus to Gritty hitting a child was just good. <laughs> like the most nuanced take I saw, I saw one person comment like, well, what did the child do? <laughs> I'm trying to like both sides this issue. I, uh, I, I moved to, I just moved back though. I moved, I was in Chicago for like the last five years and I really liked Chicago. Uh, one thing I really liked about it is that Chicago was like, Low-key, fat guy, Mecca. Like, if you're a bigger guy, you should make the trip once in your life. Like, just like, like there's never a point where I was in a room where there wasn't at least two other people shaped like me, and that was like, I didn't know I wanted that, like, representation, but I got it, so I, that was nice. I, uh, uh, like I said, I'm like, I'm like, I'm a bigger guy, but I'm like handsome, so it's okay. Like, I'm like crushing it, right? And uh, a thing I noticed, just like being a, a bigger guy is there's like a huge double standard between like plus size female models and plus size like male models. Like female models are still like sexy and mysterious and stuff like that. Every plus size male model just looks like this. <laughs> they just have this big dopey look on their face like I am also surprised to be here. <laughs> They always look like they're about to tell you about their fantasy football team. Like, that's the vibe of every single one of them. I, uh, I don't know who I need to talk to to get that job, but clearly y'all knew exactly who I was talking about. So that would be nice. I, uh, I, I was talking to my girlfriend before I like, came out tonight, and I was like, hey, this is what I think we're gonna talk about and stuff. And she's like, sounds like you're complaining a lot. And I'm like, okay. So now she's in my set, <laughs> and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna end there. I'm Tom Hannigan, thank you so much. <laughs> Tip your weight, Steph.